going to talk to you about a book right after this. Welcome to the Goblin Storybook. I am your host, Lou, and today I'm going to be talking to you about a book, funnily enough. Um, I've actually written down some notes this time, so hopefully the review won't be as long and rambling as my previous one was. But if you do want to check out a rambling review, Hunger for Death is going to be on one of these sides in one of those card things. <laughs> I've decided to rename my reviews and they're going to be So I Read, dot 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 because I found that my reviews aren't really very reviewy. They're just me rambling about books. So it's just gonna be like a conversation. So you're, you're my friends and I'm gonna be like, hey, so I just read blah, blah, blah. So let's get started. So I just read Requited Hood. And I'm gonna check, check my notes while I'm talking. I just read Requited Hood by Kendra Meeks. I'm not sure if I'm saying Kendra, Kendra? or Kendra. One of them. And actually this is a lie because I didn't read it at all. I listened to the audiobook and it's narrated by Erin Parker. Hello, Editing Lou here and I've done something stupid. I didn't like read the description of the book before I started talking about the book and I feel like it's important so that you know what the book's about. Can your name decide your fate? I was named after Gerwalter Faust, and if that means nothing to you, then you don't know the real story of Little Red Riding Hood. It is my birthright to lead the House of Red, my destiny to be the next Grand Matron of all hoods. But as the namesake of the Betrayer, am I also doomed to repeat her crimes? Maybe. I too have fallen in love with a werewolf and that alone could get us both killed. I don't want to be his enemy, but I also can't imagine living without him. Soon, I'll have to make a choice. My heart or my hood. Or can I rewrite history and become the Jawalter who can have them both? The prequel to the best-selling urban fantasy tale the Red Hood Chronicles. So Requited Hood is the prequel novella for a series called The Red Hood Chronicles. You should be getting some little Red Riding Hood vibes from this already. Um, now I've got to admit it's not my usual genre. Uh, this is like um, urban fantasy and if you'd asked me a year ago to read or to listen to this book I would have laughed in your face. I tended to avoid urban fantasy apart from like maybe Dresden Files because there's a lot of romance in these kind of things that you normally end up with a werewolf falling in love with a witch or a fairy or something and it, I, I just didn't think it was my cup of tea. But then I also realised I'm quite happy to sit down and binge watch True Blood which, which is obviously based on these kind of books so I don't know what my logic was there at all. And also, this last year I've really got into trying like different genres, I'm very much into YA fantasy now and there's a lot of overlap, I think, between the two. So I thought I'd give this a go. Also, it was free, I think. I got the audiobook from Kobo, so it was either free or really, really cheap. Because I do the audiobook subscription on there where you, you pay an amount and you get a book a month. But I'd done my book for that month and I was like, ah! I need another one so I, I started searching down the free and cheap ones and that's how I ended up with that so even though it's not my usual genre I thought I'd give it a go because it was only short it's like an hour and eight minutes if it was terrible and I didn't enjoy it 
I haven't really lost anything because I was working while I was listening to it, so it's not like I was dedicating a load of time to reading this story. So I, f I figured it was worth a go. And so I put it on, and within the first couple of sentences, I was hooked. It was a combination of the writing and a combination of how the narrator narrated. But already I felt connected to the main character of Jerry. Um, I was interested in her world, I was interested in what she was doing. And after that, the hour and eight minutes just flew by. It's very easy to follow. The dialogue is compelling and realistic. The characters all seem really fleshed out, even though it's such a short story. But also what I like is it really sets things up for the main series. I get the feeling it was written for people who have read the first book and are looking to find out more about the main character and where she came from. But if, like me, you haven't read any of this stuff and you just wanted to try the free read before you, like, try before you buy, then it still makes sense and it's still really interesting. The only thing I didn't really like is there's not much in the way of explaining the magic because we know that Jerry has powers, we know that she would have more powers if she did a thing that I will get to in a minute, but we don't necessarily know what all those powers are. But I, I expect that's covered in the books that follow. So what is it about? Obviously there's the romance element and that is a major part of the plot but what we're really looking at is the story of Jerry and whether she's going to choose to follow her destiny which is to eventually replace her mother as the head of the Red Hoods or whether she's gonna follow her heart and go off and study and or like, get together and marry this werewolf that she's fallen in love with and the werewolf is the son of the alpha of the local pack that's all relevant <laughs> but you've got to listen to it or read it to find out why so she's faced with this dilemma and I don't know what to say without giving the end away so she's faced with a dilemma and even in such a short story there's so much betrayal and shock and I mean I was sitting there doing my day job and working on a spreadsheet and every now and then I'll be like, what? No! And I say that in reference especially to one particular character, which I don't think it's a spoiler if I mention this, it's Cherry's mother. And I just loved hearing about her. Like this, I would say reading about her, but I listened. I just loved listening about her and I hope that she pops up in the future books. Because, yeah, I think she's going to have some stuff to say following the events of this prequel. So, did I enjoy it? Yes, I really did. I was really surprised with how much I did enjoy it and how much I'm looking forward to checking out the other books. I'm hoping that they're all available on audiobook and that they're all narrated by the same person, which is Erin Parker. Just to repeat that, the author of this book was Ken Kendra Meeks, or Kendra Meeks. I really don't mean to butcher your name. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But yeah, I'm very excited to read or listen to the rest of the series. So in short, if you're looking for a quick read or a quick listen, that's urban fantasy with a bit of romance and a lot of betrayal. Check out Requited Hood. I'll stick some links down below where you can grab it in whichever format you like. And yeah, if you've read it, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Oh, and if you've read any books recently that are outside of your normal genre, let me know down below. Always excited for that. See you next time.